Hello everybody out there in the uh, music and vinyl community. This is my crew coming at you, or Soldier 777. And I uh, just figured show you a, a quick, uh, not a quick video, but a video uh, with a couple things I have in mind to, to talk about. And uh, first off, I'd like to mention something real quick there. Um, I would like to give a few shout outs to some people um, that I have about 36 subs, which is, I think it's too bad. There's two people out there that don't have very many subs. Um, Moore Park 28, is a, he's a British chap, only got 19 subs. And David Stinson, he got five subs. Uh, David subscribed to me today, so I in turn subscribe to him. So um, I encourage you guys to look at their videos, uh, give them a sub uh, to help boost up their numbers. Uh, I haven't seen David's videos yet. I'm going to watch his videos uh, within the next few days. More Parker watched his videos, and he has he shows everything, like all kinds of music and that kind of thing. And as I said before, he's a British chap. So um, I just figured I'd mention these two people to give him some sub subs. I also want to mention something to you as well. Um, also, um, I know we all show our videos individually. Um... And um, I'm enjoying some reveals from, from a few people lately, like uh, Mega Jeff McCormick, uh, Scott Waters, um, Dan Powers, he's from New Brunswick, a fellow Canadian, um, Black Star Vinyl, Blackmore Rules, um, who else? A bunch of other people. I'm wondering if there's a way that Fuse can get together in a FaceTime chat. We can talk to each other uh, face to face. Um, I know we all live in different time zones, like I live in Eastern Canada, in Newfoundland, there's people from Britain, there's people, uh, I know there's Rene in Spain, there's um, Ronnie's Rec Room on, on, on what, the West Coast, uh, Scott Wires in, in New Mexico, uh, I know there's a few people on the Eastern Seaboard in the US, I don't know if we can do some sort of um, uh, face and exchange, we, we, we get on Skype and talk to each other back and forth, I'm not sure, I just figured I'd throw it out to you out there for you guys to uh, discuss amongst you, you guys and that kind of thing so I figure throw it out throw it out there okay so so in addition to what I just said I want to um, bring up something as well uh, um, this is going to be the bulk of this, this is going to be a collection video but I want to mention, mention this real quick as you may know uh, one of our um, one of the uh, favorite musicians of some of you out there uh, was diagnosed with throat cancer, Dave Mustang of Megadeth. Um, so basically, um, and I think Dave's a believer in Christ, as far as I know. At least he professes that uh, on camera or on, in, his, in his interviews. And um, so basically, guys, those of you who are Christians, we have a fallen comrade, a fallen soldier, um, who has a physical ailment. And as you may know, to another uh, contemporary Christian singer, uh, Carmen, um, he got cancer, was in remission, now, now he got, got cancer again. So the, we got two people in the church community uh, that's been struck down with, with a sickness and illness. Um, so basically, for those who are believers, to hold them up in prayer, uh, that they'll have a quick recovery. And as you may know, that we, follow, we, follow, we, we follow risen Savior. And um, and we all know that Satan's defeated. And when Christ is finished on the cross, that means all debt was paid. All the debts that we, could, to, that we couldn't afford to pay, Christ paid it all for us. I want to mention to you, too, uh, I got the most lethal weapon uh, known to man, the Bible. So I want to mention a few uh, verses um, in light of this. Uh, I, I just felt compelled to mention a few things uh, about this. So... And this is for those of us and those of you going through a storm right now. It could be a physical, it could be financial, it could be a loved one going through an issue. Uh, here's Psalm 23, verse 4. Yea, though I walk through a valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. You ride and stand to comfort me. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and the cup runs over. So guys, this is a, a, um, a Psalms where... If you if you're at death's door, or going through major storm in life, uh, God is faithful; He will restore you. 
And I, I want to mention another verse in the Bible too about uh, in light of uh, this as well. And this is uh, Isaiah 54 verse 7. No weapon formed against us will prosper. Every tongue which rises against what against you in judgment you will condemn. This is a heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteous is from me, says the Lord. So basically, this is a dual. This is a dual um, um, uh, concept in this in, in Isaiah. No weapons form against us. That both pertains to Israel as a nation in the Old Testament, and I guess it pertains to Israel in the current day and age, where her en enemies are camped about around her. You know, the Islamic region. Also applies to believers. Well, where you know the world may throw what it can at us, and but it won't prosper. God will, uh, God will conquer the enemy that com comes against us. So I just figured I'd mention that point to you as, as well. Um, there's another verse in the Bible uh, which mentions storms uh, in Philippians 1 and 21. For me, live as Christ and die as gain. But live in the flesh, this would mean fruit for my labor. Yet, what, what I choose, I, I cannot tell. So basically, what it means is that, you know, life is like a vapor. And if so happens we're struck with a physical infirmity that causes us to, to die, you know, we'll be we'll go on in glory. And even though you um, even though people can people see people can have an ailment and they can recover from it, and that can be a tremendous testimony to 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 those to the world. If a believer dies and goes to heaven, that's also a testimony. It, it, we're gone in glory and they've lived their life to the fullest. You know, I just want to mention that, mention that to you as well. I want to mention another, one, another verse, Matthew 7, verse 7. And it says this. Uh, one second, let me get to it there. Seven, verse 7. Uh, one second, let me find it there. At, it says, Ask and she will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock will be opened to you. For anyone, anyone who asks receives, and he who seeks will find. And to him who knocks will be open. So basically, it's a promise, promise to uh, the believer. If you ask for something, God will give it to you. If you have a faith that solves a grain of mustard, it'll be given to you. So guys, I mean, if you want to pray for Dave's recovery and Carmen's recovery, you know, it's going to happen. No doubt about it. You know, we live in a fallen world. We all get sick. You know, we all get go for storms and trials. But you know, if you ask for it, it'll be given to you. So I just want to give you that bit of encouragement uh, to all those who those who are going through a storm right now. And you feel like you 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 want to throw in a towel, you know. Don't give up and uh, keep pressing pressing forward. I also want to mention too uh, in, in in getting into music, um, uh, Psalms Psalms. Uh, this is a well known like Psalms twenty three. This is a well known uh, a well known uh, uh, um, uh, section of the Bible that many of us uh, know. Um, one second, just bring up here. Uh, and you know, as you may know, um, as you may know, the Bible, the Bible, especially Old Testament, is a, is a, is a Middle Eastern text. A lot of music in the, in the Middle East is very lively, very upbeat, that kind of thing. And it, it's a sort of a psalms of encouragement. And this is the reason why I like music, especially Christian music, because it speaks to me in my heart. Psalms 150. Um, Praise the Lord of Sanctuary. Praise Him as mighty ferment. Praise Him in mighty acts. Praise Him according to His excellent greatness. Praise Him in the sound of the trumpet. Praise Him with the lute and harp. Praise Him with the tambour and dance. Praise Him with the string instruments and flute and, and the flutes. Praise Him with the loud cymbals. Praise Him with the clashing cymbals. Living as breath. Praise the Lord. So basically, guys, um, if you're going through a storm and you you don't feel like throwing a towel, one of the best uh, remedies or cures is praising God. So when you don't feel like praising God, praise Him anyway. You know. He won't. He, it won't follow deaf ears. He hears you, and uh, it can be a, spirit, a source of spiritual healing for you, in both physical, physical, and spiritual. Um, so I encourage you, and this is the reason why I like music. You know, um, I listen mostly to Christian music, and for some reason, when I listen to it, it, mo it relaxes me. Um, if I'm having a rough day or uh, things aren't going too good, you know, put on some music. Uh, could be a um, hard rock song, could be a mellow song, could be a praise song. For some reason, when I put on music. Um, like a, a Christian song, or even if the lyrics don't is it necessarily straightforward Christian. Um, but if usually the artist I listen to is a Christian, the main songwriter, and even might be even if it might have have an overtly Christian theme to it, just something better that that relaxes me. 
something that, that pumps me up, you know, almost like a get up fight song, or it could be a praise song, it could be a um, laid back, easy listening song, you know, so that kind of thing. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get right to another uh, part of my topic. It's going to be a collection video of the letter I. Uh, and I'm going to show two bands right now, two awesome bands. Um, one is Isle Cure, the other one's Impel Terry. So I'm going to get right to it there. Without, and with all that said, make sure you pray for Dave Mustang and Carmen. And, uh, you know, they're going through a storm. I also want to mention, too, the fact that, as you may know, one of our, uh, another well-known musician uh, had a big health scare back this past summer uh, of uh, 2018. Uh, almost a year ago, Oz Fox, and Oz Fox is a striper, and he celebrated his 58th birthday uh, there today, I think it was, so I mean, this is, this is a sign of God's glory, uh, what an excellent testimony for Oz to be healed, and I know his wife, Annie, Annie LaBear, was, was on the, was on the, um, showing uh, uh, videos on YouTube, and I watched some of her videos, uh, just campaigning for, for her husband, you know, as for prayers, uh, you know, and, and healing, and like you know, as far as you know, there's no repercussions from the fall he had back in uh, when he had that fall was on stage uh, at a local gig. So that's just a, a, a sign of God's greatness and God's awesomeness. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna get right to my um, my collection video. So here's a band. There's a band called Art of Cure. They're a Christian band, a frontline, mostly in a frontline music group. They're a great band. I sort of dance between rock and hard rock, hard rock uh, in that category. So here's her first self-titled album, came in 1986, called Art of Cure. And it's kind of a rare album. I bought this bit, bit a couple years ago from, from a guy on on, um, on, on eBay. And um, self-titled album. And a guitar player uh, on this band, uh, Chuck uh, Chuck King, he went and formed, uh, joined a um, shit with Ken Tamplin in 87 or so. So he played guitar on this first album there. So another great uh, album is Art of Cure, Tough Love. Uh, now the first one I just showed came in 1986, this one came in 1988, another great album, Tough Love. This is when they started really finding their sound, their hard rock sound was on this album. So it was a great tune, great album, sorry. Uh, here's, this is the album that I think I discovered in the mind was the Second Avenue. Uh, this came in 1990, it's a great hard rock album. Uh, this kind of reminds me of Kiss, uh, Scorpions, a uh, little bit of Dio, that, that kind of sound, but more in more of a top 40 format. Uh, but yeah, I mean, great tunes like Pray, uh, No Fun Anymore, Human Solution, uh, Talk It Out, uh, If You Mean It, Dead or Alive. A lot of great tunes on, the, on this album. So, the other one, Inside Out, came in 1991. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this album. I can't get into it as much as the other ones. Uh, but still, some a uh, couple cool tunes on it. I know there's one called um, Mind Games, Red Line, that kind of thing. So, yeah. I uh, can't get into as, as much, like I said before, uh, I prefer the first two or three albums uh, prior uh, prior to this one, so yeah, yeah. Uh, this is our last album they came out with back in 94 called uh, Eclipse. This is also has some killer tunes on this one. Uh, What's Your Point of View, Port My Soul, uh, Burning Gomorrah, that kind of thing, so yeah, some great tunes on, on this one. Uh, so they were about, they ran for about, about 10 years or so, from about uh, 85 or 84 up until around 95, so... Yes, yeah, so, so I would love for these guys to put some more material if they ever get back together again. So there you have it. So, the next one on the show is one of my favorite bands, Impel Terry. Now, for the longest time, Impel Terry, uh, sorry, for the longest time, Petra Stripers was my two top bands of all time. Uh, Petra moved down a notch. Uh, for some reason, Impel Terry kind of replaced Petra. Not that I'm knocking Petra, I love, I love Petra. Uh, but but it's kind of like teeter. Shriver's my favorite band, but it's kind of teeter between Impel Terry and Petra. I think Impel Terry edges out Petra just a little bit, little bit. So I'm gonna show their uh, music. Here's their 19, 1997 EP, uh, the Black EP, and I bought this as a Japanese repress a couple of years ago, and uh, I got the uh, OBI strip inside there, and it's got four songs, and this is what. Uh, this is more of a neoclassical style uh, album, and uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool tunes. It's got uh, "Lost in the Rain," "Play with Fire," "Burning," and "I'll Be Searching." And Pell Terry, uh, Chris Pell Terry, still plays uh, one of these songs from this album on, on the on, the, on the, in, in, on, in concert. I think it's a song. Um, I think it's either "Burning" or "Lost in the Rain." I think it's "Lost in the Rain." He still plays this day in concert. So there you have it. 
here's the album that most people know is Stand in the Line. And oh, by the way, Rob Rock uh, sang lead vocals on this one. And then they came up with this one, Stand in the Line. And uh, when they made this one, Rob Rock left the band to do the Joshua Intense Defense album. So he got Green Bonnet to do this one. Uh, on this album, uh, as you may know, Graham Bonnet was on in Rainbow, and also it shows uh, Pat Tropre and drums. As you may know, Pat Tropre joined the Mr. Big, and unfortunately, a couple years ago, a year or so ago, it passed away of Parkinson's disease. And um, also shows uh, Chuck Wright on bass. Chuck Wright played also played bass with Quiet Wright, uh, believe House of Lords, and he also played uh, bass on uh, Christian Present with um, with uh, Lenny Cordo and Magdalen. I uh, did a couple of tune albums with them back in 93, 94, um, Re Revolution Mind and Dirt. They're more of a proggy uh, rock uh, type of outfit. And Lana Cordola, as, as we know, did uh, the House of Lords thing uh, and Gafira, those two bands. So, yeah, so this is Stan Lawn Commit uh, The version I got is the original nine songs, plus it has a four songs from this EP here. The four songs. So it's got 13 songs in total. I mean, a lot of great songs this one, like Stand in Line, uh, Since You've Been Gone. Uh, got a great instrumental of Summer Over the Rainbow, which is the same uh, theme song on The Wizard of Oz. Uh, Tonight I Fly, Leviathan. She has some a lot of great tunes on this one, so there you have it. Um, now, in Pelletier, he's known as Neoclassical Metal. Now, uh, he, they sort of had a uh, more of a top 40 hard rock metal shredding type of uh, style, style on this album. I also put out uh, in Pelletier, Grin and Barrett as well. This is, this is my Japanese pressing. And this was not critically liked uh, by fans or critics when they put this one back in 1992 um, it, it was not well well received but but I mean I liked the album I thought it was a pretty cool, cool a lot of cool tunes in this one uh, when the well runs dry uh, what, sorry when the well runs dry ball and, sh ball and chain wake up Sally um, cities on fire a lot of great tunes on this one it's more of a um, commercial hard, hard rock album now, similar style to this, to this one uh, these two are similar style um, the shorter, uh, the shorter uh, went a different direction than neoclassical shredding of this album. So here, you go, there you have it. And the next album they came out with is um, an EP called "Victim of the System," and this one has "Victim of the System," "Virtual Prison," "Glory," "Cross the Bear," and "Young and the Ruthless." Ken Tamplin also did some backup vocals on this one. And of course, uh, of course, in this album is when Rob Rock rejoined him, and so he was their main lead singer for through the nineties. So this one came out in nineteen eighty three, by the way. And this is one of my favorite albums from Pell Terry, uh, called um, Answer to the Master. And they went back into into their ne neoclassical roots uh, uh, with this album. Uh, so a lot of great tunes on this one. So this came out in 1984. And here you have Screaming Symphony. And um, this is uh, another great uh, album, one of my favorite ones. A lot of great tunes on this one. Uh, Father Forgive Them, uh, Walk Away. Uh, Candle to Revolution, Rat Race, For Your Love, a lot of awesome tunes on this one. Uh, Scream Sympathy. This one came out in 1986. Here is a very rare bootleg on Pell Terry called Live Fast Loud. Very rare. Uh, things on eBay now for 100 bucks. I'm about to pay like $30 for this one. And uh, on eBay there several years ago. And um, yeah, this is pretty much shows the material from, uh, from I believe, um, the, the Stand Line album up to uh, Scream and Symphony, Scream and Symphony, in that period. And also do a cover of um, uh, Deep Purple's Hobby Star. So yeah, pretty cool. So here's their uh, Fuel for the Fire EP, which came in 1987. There you have it. And it has the tunes uh, Fuel for the Fire, Stand or Fall, Paradise, and Tears Night of the World. So you got some great tunes in this one. So... And here's their, oh, by the way, these are, and here's their uh, either Hurricane CD. And this is a European pressing uh, under, let me see now. What's the record label on this one? This is European pressing, uh, Dreamcatcher Records, I think it is. And I got the bonus uh, EP uh, as well. The, here you go. Which has Warrior, Fly Away, Glory, Hold the Line, and Victim of System. So there you have it. 
So yeah, this is another great, fantastic album. This is probably one of uh, this is right up there with Scream Symphony and those other ones. Um, here is their uh, Crunch album, another Japanese pressing, and uh, I can't get into this album as much as I used to. I haven't heard listened to it in a while. Uh, I might give this try to give someone another, another listen to see if I can get into it a bit more. But like I said, uh, great tunes, uh, Beer 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 Rear of the Devil. Um, is the one that stands out to me and Speed Demon. There's the two that stands out to me in this one. Uh, this one's called Crunch to me back in 2000. Oh, in case I didn't mention it, this one's called um, uh, Eye of the Hurricane. So there you have it. And Fuel for the Fire. And Live Fast Loud. There you go. There you have it. Also, I had the very best of Impel Terry. Came in 2002. And this was before. Uh, Rob Rock parted ways with them, and no, it's not. I'm, I lies. This shows the material up to System X, because uh, it has um, uh, that's the album that Graham Barnett did with him, reunited with him, did do with them. So uh, this is a very, a very best metal, great, great uh, comp, comp album, uh, a great one. It's also a Japanese pressing as well. There you have it, there. Huh? So very, very pleased to have this in my collection. Great, great uh, compilation album. And next one I have from now, I don't have, um, I don't have, um, um, System X, and don't have Pedal to the Metal. Um, I'm making them eventually. Um, just a little backstory to, uh, Impel Terry. I first originally got into Rob Rock, and I bought his solo albums, and in what I did after the fact, I got into Impel Terry after I got into him. So I started buying all their stuff. Now, then I bought the album Wicked Maiden. Here you have it. Came in 2009. This is when uh, Rob Rock got back together with him. Now, this was the first Impel Terry album that I bought. When this album came out in 2009, I went backwards and got all the other albums that I, that I showed you. I went backwards. And um, after this album, um, Chris Impel Terry took a break from Impel Terry and did uh, Animal USA where he did uh, music of Japanese anime dubbed the heavy metal and got together with Rudy Zarzo of original Esmino, White Snake, White Snake and uh, Ozzy and uh, I think Jim Didion played drums I think and the least singer that did uh, was on Loudness um, his name is Casey Mike Van, Mike Van Vanessa he, he sang for Loudness for a while so yeah that was uh, NML USA so when that was done he got he reformed Impel Terry and he did um, Venom, another, another great album, uh, which came in 2015. This one came in 2009, so they took a sort of six-year break from Pal Terry. So it's, a, it's, it's coming in spring, I believe, in 2015. Great album. Uh, I got I know the Japanese import came with 10 songs. I got the Frontiers Records 12 song version. Great album. And the last one that it came out with was back in 2000 and. Uh, and uh, 18 October. This is Nature to Beast. Uh, I got a Japanese pressing with the with the uh, with the OBI strip and and the uh, double and the double uh, with the DVD included with it. This one has videos from um, Venom uh, and Wicked Maiden on, on this one. And uh, guys, this is a fa fantastic album. This is probably um, their best album to date, I think. And you know how you have a near perfect album? This is a near perfect album. Um, like, uh, this is probably um, will be one of my all time favorite albums. It's a classic. Uh, it's right up there with probably Damn Band, Run from Darkness, X Center, Get It, uh, Striper Soldier Command, To Up the Devil, um, uh, Joshua Intense Defense. It's right up there with those albums, those classic albums. This is a, a fantastic album. Uh, I encourage you guys to get, get this album, you won't be disappointed. Uh, if you like that shred metal in vain mom scene uh, with the high vocals uh, of Rob Rock, you'll love this album. They got Jim Biddy from Slayer playing drums, and uh, and of course Chris Peller on guitar, Rob Rock on, on vocals, and do two covers. Uh, they do uh, Fending Up the Opera and do uh, Black Sabbath Symphony the Universe. Great, two fantastic tunes. So you make sure you get, go get this. I have Japanese pressing. Uh, I think I might go get the vinyl for this when I get a chance or from some online store there. Uh, which has has a different artwork than this one, uh, but yeah, just just fantastic, uh, fantastic album there. So, okay, folks, there you have it. I showed everything that I have from the letters A to I, 
Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, in a future video, show uh, the letter J. We have a few bands that that uh, letter to show you show you guys there. And uh, as a recap, we've covered a lot of ground here. I covered the fact that um, uh, some shadows I gave. Uh, maybe we can do a FaceTime with a few people, members of BC, um, uh, to reach out and and keep uh, Dave Mustang and Carmen in your thoughts and prayers. I don't have any mega. I don't have any Megadeth uh, music in my collection. But I mean, I've heard their music over the years, uh, Megadeth, and got some great tunes like Peace Selva, Who's Buying, um, uh, Holy Wars, uh, Symphony of Destruction. There are three tunes, great tunes that come to my mind. So yeah, make sure you keep uh, Dave in, in your prayers and uh, thoughts and uh, Carmen. I know, I mean, we might pay anywhere from 10 to 30 bucks uh, for, for an album or CD or record. But, you know, these musicians give us so much. When they release an album, they give a snapshot into their lives and what their what their what what their frame on is, and the fact that Dave's a musician, uh, you know, he's more popular. If Dave was a plumber or an electrician or a teacher or a lawyer, you know, that's that doesn't negate Dave's worth as a person because we're all worth something in God's eyes. Uh, we're stamped in his, in his image, and no matter if you're you're a carpenter, a ditch digger, a retail worker, a well-known musician, we all are equal equal in God's eyes we all have the same worth and and you know if if you have if I have a relative who has a major health uh, defect or health infirmity he's suffering through that person is as important as Dave Mustang uh, you know we're all equal so like make sure reach out to uh, Dave uh, reach out to God or sorry uh, keep Dave in thoughts and prayers uh, if you're going through a storm uh, you know Hang in there, you know, seek God out, even if you don't know if you're, if you, even if you're not a Christian or if you don't know what your spiritual condition is, you know, you check in, check into what, what God can do for you, you know, that kind of thing. So I just figured I'd give you a word of encouragement there if, if you're going through a trial, you know, that's why I, that's the reason why I gave these little nuggets, uh, you know, God's word for you to give you some encouragement, motivation. Uh, if you're going through a storm, that kind of thing. So, anyway, guys, all the best. The video's getting close to almost a half hour long. I'll cut off here. Have a great day and all the best. Thanks, bye.